Cal wants to save fifteen thousand dollars in six years with monthly payments to an ordinary annuity for a down payment on a condo at the beach. If the annuity pays zero point six percent monthly interest, what will his monthly payment be? And we want to round the answer up to the nearest cent. Remember, we're dealing with finance companies or banks. They're going to round up. They're not going to round down to their disfavor. So we want to round up that answer. Beyond remembering to round up, I would say one more thing, and that is it's an ordinary annuity, but we're used to getting, in the statement of the problem, the annual interest rate, which is little r. We're used to getting that little r. But if you look through here, they're telling us that 0.06% is the monthly interest, not the annual interest. That's different than saying 0.6% annual interest compounded monthly. They're actually saying it's 0.6% monthly interest. So they're not telling us little r. They're telling us little i. We're not used to seeing that. So if you don't pick up on that, uh, you're obviously going to miss the problem. So word of warning, be very careful if they don't say annual interest rate, you have to adjust for that. They're giving us little i. It actually makes the problem easier to solve because you don't have to calculate little i, but if you don't notice it, it'll cause you a problem. So we simply want to take note that little i is 0.6% or 0.6%. And we've got to change that, of course, to a decimal by moving the decimal place two places to the left. So if you move that decimal one, two places to the left, you get 0 .006. So be very careful with this. It's an ordinary annuity problem, but they're telling you little i and not little r. Okay, now it's just a matter of, of doing the calculation, keeping in mind what I've already said, but I want to emphasize again, they gave us little i directly. We also want to find the monthly payment, which is capital R. That's what they're after. So we're looking for capital R. That means that we know everything else. In, fa in fact, the first thing they tell us is that Cal wants to have $15,000 in six years. That's the future or accumulated value of that annuity. So they're telling us right away that capital A is $15,000. And as I said, we're looking for capital R. We've already decided that we know what little i is. So using our formula, we get 1 plus 0 0.006. That quantity is raised to the power of n. So we have to calculate n. That's easy enough because m is how many times we're compounding per year. Monthly means 12 times a year. So m is 12. And we're doing it for 6 years. So obviously t is 6. And 12 times 6 if you need a calculator to do that, fine, but it's 72. So the power of n that we're raising it to is 72. Then we want to take away 1, and then the entire quantity is divided again by i, so that's 0 0.006. Now it just becomes basically a calculate problem, a calculator problem. Well, let's get started. I want to take um, I first want to take the inside of this base. So I want to do 1 plus 0 0.006. So I do 1 plus 0 0.006 equals. Which of course gives me 1.006. Now looking back, I want to take that 1.006 and raise it to the 72nd power. Now you know how to do that on the calculator. The base is already in there, so I want to take the exponent button, x to the y, then type in the exponent, which is 72, so it would be exponent key 72 equals. Notice I didn't retype in the base because it was already there. 
So that gives me 1.538348073. Looking back at the calculation formula, now I want to take 1 away from that. So I simply go to the calculator and say minus 1 equals. And I get 0 0.538348072. And finally, I want to take that result and divide it by 0 0.006. So I go to my calculator and say divided by 0 0.006 equals. And I get 89.7246788. I haven't been writing down many of my intermediate steps, but this is probably one that I will write down. Your calculator has it. But I think this would be a good intermediate step to actually write down. Remember, I'm trying to solve for capital R, so I need to divide out this 89.72467882. So if I divide it out on the right, I have to do the same thing on the left. And when I do that, I will have the periodic payment. So the periodic payment is 15,000 divided by that 89.7246782. Now there are different ways you can approach this problem from here on out. You could store that 89.7246782 in the in your calculator memory and then say 15,000 divide by and recall it and hit equal. Or you could just write it all down and do 15,000 divided and type the 89 point whatever back in. Um, I usually do it a little differently. I like to take advantage of the fact that there's a reciprocal button on this calculator. If you'll look closely above this button here, there's a 1 over x. You have to get to the, to the upper uh, symbols by using the shift key. Well that 1 over x flips fractions upside down. So what I'm saying here, I have the denominator already in the display. It's a shame to get rid of it and put the 15,000 in its place. So what I suggest is dividing 89.7246788 by 15,000 realizing that I'm dividing it upside down but that reciprocal button will restore it so you don't have to do it this way but my suggestion is what is because you have the denominator already in the calculator I would go ahead and say divided by 15000 equals 